for news, views, trends in ICT globally and in Africa in particular. Watch AIT Infotech Network for the latest news and innovation in ICT for development in Africa. Plus, what technology can do for you from business to politics, tourism and culture. I am Bayero Agabi. You're welcome. Nigeria is Africa's second largest economy, on track to becoming one of the 20 largest economies in the world by 2020. But this dream could be marred, going by its inability to diversify its economy, experts say. Though the petroleum sector is important, it remains a small part of the country's overall vibrant economy, with successive government paying little attention to the other sectors, including technology, manufacturing, among others. Government is the biggest buyer in this country. The economic control of government is probably 70%. We should first of all give the lead by example by local. Similar to the, what you are trying to do about local content. Once you do that, and I say we built Abuja, that is the biggest city that has been built in the world in the last 15 years, 20 years after we after they won in Brazil. And during that period, Almost all our cement factories went down. All ceramic factories that make white ware for toilets and so on closed down. The apparent industry, almost all of them went down. Something's wrong with us. Our government should find ways to make sure that local capacity is being built. Not if there's not enough capacity, let's import. They should say, why is this capacity not enough? Then let it be enough. And you can make any capacity enough in two months. It was on this note that stakeholders gathered in Ibafu, Ogun State, to appeal to the federal government to formulate and implement stringent policies that will compel patronage of made in Nigeria goods, as this has been one of their major headaches. Many industries, such as bioganics, are not promoted. We are not even them protected. So we suffer commercial injury. Because foreign companies who do what we do here, whom we know better what to do, are bringing in their products and Nigerian companies and buy from them. Without any commitment to buy from local industries who match quality and price and just in time delivery. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Olusegun Aganga, who listened carefully to their request, said the ministry has developed a strategic industrial revolution plan to fast track Nigeria's economic diversification and promised to further incorporate the plight of local manufacturers into the initiative. You made a lot of uh, important uh, comments, uh, and I've addressed, so we talked about it as we went along. But one thing which is obvious that you're not uh, maybe familiar with is the fact that we we have developed what we call that Nigeria Industrial Revolution. And that plan itself um, is very different from whatever we've done in the past. Um, in four main areas, I can, I can say it ways different. It's different because it's very strategic, meaning that we're looking at the sectors, industries, where again has competitive and comparative advantage.